Hi guys, welcome back to my channel of Sheikh Excel Master and this is your friend Farah Sheikh and today we are going to learn an amazing Excel formula that will help us to extract the top three numbers from our data source. Well as you can see over here in this data source we have the list of the students those who have scored some marks and we would like to extract the top three student names. We are not only just going to extract the top three student name but we are also going to see how are we going to handle this duplicate value. If I would have done with the VLOOKUP formula definitely it would have been not returned me the correct student name like in case if we have Malaysia and type for us we would like to handle these two duplicate values to make sure and also we would like to make this list as dynamic list so whenever we change the top three or top five numbers we can easily extract them so let us quickly jump into our exercise file what we have it over here great so first thing is that we would like to extract the top three values in order to extract the top three values we can as you can see with the help of the filter we can just filter the top 10 to top three items and these are their names and we would like to extract these names so let us change this name to Faraz great so we want all these names to appear over here just for a better understanding I'm going to give uh, this table as the range names and we will go to formulas see it from the selection and from the top row I would just need these two columns so that's the reason I'm just placing these names and the entire range I would like to say it as uh, my data okay so we will call it as data and if you follow this practice it will be very simple to understand it so here we begin so we are going to use the large function in Excel and what we are going to do is that we are going to find the third largest value so in because the, our score is top three so equals to large and from my marks we would like to have third largest value so if my rank was four I would have selected four rather than three so once we got the third largest value now we need to know how many values we need to extract and how many values are greater than 83 so how many values we need to extract so there is a simple formula I'm just going to move it just to end e equals to count if count if my marks comma I'm going to say quotes open quotes greater than equal to ampersand that is 83 so there are four records which we need to extract it so this is a very important number which we would need to make this list as a dynamic list so now when we know that how many values we need to extract from our data store we need to fill this serial number into a series so that we will get automatically the series numbers from filled from 1 to 4 or based on the numbers of values we need to extract so as I change it over here to top 5 just a minute yes I need to link this cell see the largest value is 3 sorry about that sorry the largest value is 5 now and we are going to make this reference as an absolute reference so we need to extract the five numbers from this list now it's not possible for us to change every time that series so we are going to make this series as an automated series so let us start here equal to large my array is marks comma and the value for the k is the top three which is the third largest and we are going to make it then absolute reference it's very important great so now when we got this formula over here and we are going to construct another formula in this one and say that count if which we did it up below marks comma quotes open greater than or equal to an ampersand 
and we will hit enter don't worry about it excel has automatically detected because i didn't close the bracket side so i'll say yes great so now once we got these numbers we're going to use the rows function and what we are going to do is that we are going to extract the position of this row and we are going to increment it by one each so once we got this value now we need to extract so now we know that we need to extract the four values from this data source and what we have to do we need to get this series so that series will represent each large value till the value is true now to fill this series to four block what we are going to do is we are going to use the row function and we are going to say e equals to f rows and this is my reference of the row and i'm going to press colon close bracket okay and we are going to select this cell and we are going to make this as an absolute reference and my logical test should be that if my rows are greater than the number of counts i want that value to be blank or else we want it to say that guys we want that row number okay as you can see i just by mistake put double equal to and hit enter say yes great great so we got our numbers now and we are going to go down see so something is greater than four it is turning it out to be blank so let us see five six wow it's working perfectly fine so we're going to put it back to three so we will just uh, debug this formula and i'll show it to you that how it has counted the rows let's see it has taken the fourth row control z and we'll look the above one and you can see the reference is getting changed because this is not an absolute reference so that's the reason it's coming down and now with the help of the large function we're going to say marks and comma and the k value will be one so by this way we are going to get our largest value so i can use an f error formula and i will just say it as blank there are many ways to do it that even i can just take this condition and if this condition is greater than this then I can just make it as blank but if error I find it little easy so let us jump to another which is the main thing we would like to extract the names now if we would have used the VLOOKUP function we would be not able to extract the second person name in the list so we are going to use the index function and we are going to say my data okay this is my data this is my range in case if you don't have uh, a range of your data and if you just need to extract the names then just give it names okay so we're going to say it as names okay and we're going to use aggregate function this function is available in excel 2013 onwards and i have explained in my detailed video that how we can use the aggregate function and you can just have a look so from here we are going to select 15 which is the small number which is the smallest value so we are going to see the first small number and then we need to extract the k value so small and what we are going to do is the beauty of this aggregate function that it ignores the errors and uh, and it will execute your formula so we'll select 15 and 6 15 means for the small and 6 is for the ignoring values and now we are going to see our row so my row is names okay and i'm going to minus the row just beginning of this one and we're going to make it as an absolute reference 
So, my friends, I'm just going to debug and show to you what we are going to get with this row function. And if you press 9, you can see that we have got these numbers 5, 6, 7, 8 because the range is starting from here and the row number from where we are starting. So, if you press F9 again, it is given 5. So, 5 minus five minus the value what we are having we will get these series of numbers okay so 1 to 10 so we got a range so we need to add 1 so we can get the entire numbers great so this is what we find now so now what we are going to do is that we are going to divide this number by our marks okay those are equal to by these marks okay and then we are going to say the count value. So what is it is going to do is that let us debug and see it. So once I debug, I got the value as true and false. I'll just move this little away. Okay, that's much better. So once I got this value is as a true and false, we know that true represent as one and false represent as zero. So wherever we have the value as true it will be one in that position and that position number will be divided by one and the rest will be divided by zero so we'll get an error so how it will work with the entire set i'll show it to you my friends so now once we debug it so it will take the position and it will try to divide it and debug it and and the beauty of the aggregate function is that it will ignore the errors and it will give you the value now we are going to use the count f function count f okay and we are going to select the first cell value okay and we are going to make the first cell as an absolute reference because as we go down once the excel is reading the value is greater than okay so the criteria will be also the marks so as we drag down our formula and where the excel will be able to read the 83 second time that is a second reference what we wanted so i will just press enter now that's just an error where i have not closed the brackets entirely and it's submitted it for me great bingo we got this value here and i will say if error give me the value as blank great i would just like to show it to you that how we the Excel is able to pick up the second value. So when we saw before that once the name has been counted, okay, it's coming here and we'll keep at it. Okay. So as you have seen, it has taken the second value. The position number is true for 83 and position number is 10. So what the counter function is doing, my friends, it is returning the K value what we need. So we need the second position that is the tenth not so if we debug the above formula it will be showing it as one so we need the second position from this source of data so that's a 10 number and the 10 number is Nilesh scoring marks 83 great now in case if you have a multiple set of data then there is also nothing to worry about it I will just quickly copy this formula and we are just going to paste it and this time in place of name I am going to show you how we are going to take the entire data set data and I am going to change the names by data okay. and other things will remain the same the only thing what we would need to do is that we need to put the column number we need to put the column number so that it can pick up the column number so this is the division what we are looking for and you can use the same way by using a math function also which i covered in my previous video how to use the math function you can extract the position by highlighting the headers then you can just get that column number and you can pull it i've already made this formula also before see but without the name ranges as you can see there is a lot of a lot of confusion happening over here that where is the ASL record and it's very difficult to track the data where am I going and you 
in between you will get lost so you can just simplify the formula and you can easily remember it also but there's nothing wrong with the name range or if you go with the direct cell reference also there is nothing wrong the only thing is that if somebody is trying to read your formula then he can easily understand the construction of your formula the array is referring to the name columns okay fine and the marks is referring to the marks column so it is very easy to understand so let us see if our list is working correctly or not so we got the top five values yes the values which are greater than five so it has extracted the five and then we have got the names okay let us see if the graph was also as a value 83 how would it be working see great <laughs> the reason why altaf has been calmed up because it has taken based on the position as you remember that we have taken the position of our rows this is a very important formula construction so let us see our top six values great we have Raz and tina so this is a formula now you know that how to extract the top values as per your choice so I hope my friends you have enjoyed this video so please push a like button share this video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for the latest update and a soft copy of this file will be kept on my Facebook group page so you can download from there and you can just give a try by yourself. So signing off for the day your friend Farah Sheikh from F Sheikh Excel Master and will be coming back soon with more exciting Excel videos. Thank you and have a great day.